How's everybody doing tonight? I'm Becky and it's all science jokes all the time. What does a triceratops sit on? It's Triceratops. Why did the T-Rex need a band-aid? It had a dinosaur. Wait, wait, I I've got it. I, I have an experiment where we can make fossils. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, well, let's go to the lab and do our experiment. To the lab. Everyone. I'm in STEM lab at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis and today on Real Science we are going to fossilize a sponge. Yay! But first let's talk about fossilization. Fossils are formed when an animal like a dinosaur dies and is covered by layers of sediment. The minerals in that sediment seep into the gaps in the bone and turn it to rock. If you're following along at home or in the classroom, here are the supplies you're going to need. A sponge, a large container, water, salt, and sand. Now that we have our supplies, it's time to fossilize. <laughs> the first thing you need to do is take a sponge and cut it into different shapes. I chose to do a bone shape because we're talking about dinosaurs, but you can make any fun shape you want to. Next, you need to have salt water. I've mixed a lot of salt into some warm water. Keep mixing salt until you can't mix any more in. Then you're going to take your sponge pieces and dunk them into the water. Make sure they get fully wet. Now, take your large container. This is going to represent the ground and pour in some sand. You would like your container to be about half full. There we go. Now we're going to take our fossil pieces, our sponge, and we're going to make sure they're wet and we're gonna bury them into the sand. Just push them right in there. And here's the second one. Make sure your Sponges are completely covered. Add more sand if you need to. And now you're going to take salt water and pour it on the sand till it's completely wet. If you have a clear container, you can watch the water go down the sides. So make sure the sand is completely wet. You'll know it's wet enough when just a little bit of water starts to sit on the top. Bones take millions of years to fossilize. Ours won't take that long. After a week, Dig up your sponges and see if they have turned hard like a fossil. I don't know about you, but I dig learning about dinosaurs and fossils. Join us next time on Real Science. Thank you so much for watching. If you try this experiment, take a few photos and share them with us using this hashtag. We'd love to see what you came up with. <laughs>